What is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton tutorial. I'm going to knock this out real quick. This is using the EQ8 on your master channel to um, EQ, I guess. Um, there's a mode inside of the EQ8 which is MS, which stands for middle side. And if you click the edit button, you can adjust how the middle audio, the audio in the middle of the track is EQ'd and the audio on the side of the track is EQ'd. So generally the uh, the middle will be your you know your kick and your bass and the side will be your uh, reverb and percussion and stuff like that. Um, so what I've done is I've uploaded this preset. It will look just like this um, to my blog and you go ahead and download that and start playing with it or you can just um, kind of look what I've got going on here. I'm not going to go through everything I've done, but uh, you know, you can look and just kind of make some guesses. But um, this is a really effective tool to make your song more dynamic because um, you know, if you've got a bunch of reverb going on, you don't want it to have a sub on it muddying up the middle when you've got some deep bass. So um, what I'm going to do is just show you what I mean. Um, I'm going to come over to the middle now and I'm going to turn it all the way off and then so we can just hear the side or what's on the sides of the audio. So here is it regular. You're all going to die down here. And now I'm going to just come over and just shut off all of the middle audio. And let's see what this sounds like now. So that sounds pretty cool, but that's the audio that you're EQing when you're in the, the sides, okay? So it's important to kind of check that out and know what's going on um, before you get going with that. Um, and then obviously you can shut, you can do the opposite and shut the sides off. And, uh, you know, just go ahead and download this EQ and play around with it. But um, you definitely want to do something along these lines because if you pay for a master... Um, a technician is going to do something like this inside of Ozone or whatever other program they're using. And, uh, you know, you can do it inside of Ableton. Between this EQ and a maximizer, you can get your sound pretty, pretty pristine. I mean, I used this until I got Ozone. So, you know, it's just uh, another, another tool in the toolbox. Go ahead and download that preset. Uh, rate, subscribe, comment. Go hit like on the Facebook page. Peace.